For a lot of women, it's already too late, but it may not be too late for you. Today, we're talking about going back to the drawing board and coming up with a better game plan as a woman. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when it comes to single motherhood and dating, you know, this is a very triggering topic for women that are single mothers. And today, man, I just want to, you know, give women a different way to look at it that way you can set yourself up for the best possible chances at marriage, okay? On social media, man, we're seeing all kind of extreme cases that are real cases of single motherhood where, you know, some of these women have, you know, four, five, six, seven kids, you know, all by different men. And those are those cases that I say, you know, it's probably, probably too late for some of these women due to how many kids you have due to your age you know it, it's probably this video is is not for you but you still can tune in and help groom the next generation because we have to look at this like going to the drawing board and and drawing out a play you know for a woman that you know, says, okay, I'm gonna do this traditional casual dating thing, this hookup culture, and a baby comes out of it. I want you to think about this. You're a ball handler, okay? And you're going, you're right-handed, you're going to the right side of the court. Immediately, you are met with a trap. And that's, that's play number one. Play number one doesn't result in a three-pointer, it doesn't result in a layup, i.e. marriage. And it, it results in a turnover and you got a baby, okay? You got a baby out of it. Now you're a single mom. Some women will keep running that same play over and over again. And every time it produces a turnover, i.e. a baby. It never results to a marriage, okay? So as a woman, this is where logically, you know, this is where I say, if you're willing to exercise logic, you know, you would realize, why would I continue to run that same play? Why would I continue to run that if it's gonna has a high probability, if they know it worked the first time, if I know this plan or this play failed the first time, why would I consistently run it over again? Okay, here's a different one. So say for instance, you got one or two by the same man. Man, you need, you need to create and draw a new play and your play needs to be righteous. Your play needs to be righteous. And let me tell you something. I'm talking about drawing a play that's gonna help make you successful as a woman, not the whole womanhood, no. Because all women, they have to exercise logic and draw their own plays. And I'm just giving you one play that is guaranteed uh, to, to, to save you, uh, to help you put you in a better situation as a woman or as a single mom with, 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 with you know, maybe one or two children. Okay? So the play is, all right, we're playing. We're out here dating. You're going to go to the left side of the court. The left side of the court is no sex. We ain't having no sex, okay? No sex until marriage. It's not no sex until the idea of marriage. No, it's no sex until marriage. You know, we consummate the marriage with having sex. That's a guaranteed play to stop you from having turnover after turnover 
having all of these problems, man. Cause it's, it's uh, when I see some of these videos of these single women, single mothers get triggered, a lot of them, man, they just chose to run the same play over and over again. And it just consistently failed. You know, the story is, well, I thought, uh, you know, this time will be better. And I just thought he was going to marry me. And, and the thing is you gave your body away well before, you know, uh, the marriage was secured. And I would tell women, secure the marriage first, then give your body up. You can avoid a high body count. You can avoid uh, having all these kids out of wedlock. When as a woman will you go back to the drawing board? And here's another one. When you think about women that have this generationally where you know their mother was a single mom, grandmother was a single mom, aunties are a single mom. Look at the play that the women around you have consistently run and what was the outcome marriage is the championship right there marriage is marriage is like the final four that, hey, that's it right there these the women around you chose to run the same play and it failed and it failed multiple generations when is a woman logically will you say you know what man i got to go left because i'm right-handed they don't think i can go left and the women in your family, let me tell you something, they're gonna be shocked at the way you're moving and they, they might even hate on you because all of their efforts might be to get you to run that same failing play. So you can end up in the same boat like them, possibly miserable. So don't expect nobody to, 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 uh, to embrace you because you're running a different play. I, I would expect you to you, be surprised. Uh, don't be surprised if they're not talking behind your back. Who she thinks she is? She thinks she better. But you are running a play not to make anybody else successful. You're running a play to make yourself successful first, and then them kids is gonna benefit off of that. Man, all of this, this casual sex, this fornication, this sexual immorality has failed women. You cannot run that same play and think the Most High Yah is gonna allow you to prosper where you have ran a plan or a play that didn't lead to prosperity. You know what I'm saying? This is why you got all that hope running that same failing play instead of faith. See, when you got faith in something that's guaranteed to work, man, you don't have no need to worry. So when these men come along, you have to be able to weed out the, the, the wheat from the tares. The wheat are the serious ones. The tares are the ones that just want to lay down and sell you hoop dreams and, and, and never come through on anything. You see what I'm saying? As a woman, man, I, I'm encouraging you. You know, if you got one child and you already know, like, man, this, this is rough. This is rough. Listen to me, it's time to go to the drawing board. It's time to go to the drawing board. If you keep looking up, if you keep looking at this play board, saying I'm gonna run that same play, but this time it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You know, it, it, it's gonna take, listen to me, it's gonna take a miracle for that play to work. That's gonna take nothing short of a miracle. Why would you wanna risk it? Some women have, thinking they're gonna get this miracle play time after time going against the will of Yah. And his intent was for you to marry first, then bear children. You see what I'm saying? I, I, this video is not meant for all of the triggered single mothers. This is for those that's like, man, I, I want a solution. And I'm telling you, when you're dating these men, let these men know, hey, I'm looking for something serious. I'm not putting out until. My history, okay, possibly my history, I got one or two children, but it's by the same man and I've learned. I'm running a different play. This play did not work. A man, a man can respect that. He can respect it enough to say, hey, I want to take her up on this offer and go forth, or I want to, I, I respect her, her, her offer, her decision, and I want to exit stage left. A man can respect that. There is no respect after you have ignorantly, consistently ran the same play over and over again, and it has failed you. Now you got people looking at you like, man, dang, you ran that same play one time, it didn't work. What was your thought process behind running it again?
you ran it for a second time and it still didn't work. What was your thought process behind running that again for a third time? And it still didn't work. What was your thought process behind running that same play for a fourth time? And some women, a fifth time and a sixth time. I'm telling you, go to the drawing board. Go to the drawing board. Everything that you once looked for in a man in that, in that play and it failed, man, you need to say, hey, bottom line, bottom line is, I, don't, I, I really don't care about his shoes. I really don't care about no height. I really don't care about this. You got to think, the person you might have laid down and had a baby with, you know, might have met your criteria. He might have had the shoes. He might have been had the height you wanted. Might have had the look. But guess what? That was a failed. That was a that was a play that failed. It wasn't gonna work. So when you get over here and we start doing a, a, a different play, we go into the left side. Now we wrote. Now we coming in for the layup with the left hand. You see what I'm saying? That's a oftentimes that's a winning play. That that that. That right there results in marriage, and guess what? Your body count it, it is not going to be as high. You're going to be more in line with righteousness because you're not out here fornicating, being sexually immoral. And like I said, man, a man can come along and say, you know what? I can respect that because a lot of women out here aren't trying to run a winning play. A man can recognize a winning play. Oh, this is the woman that's got... No, she's sticking to a gun. She has, that's pretty solid right there. That says something a lot about her character. She recognizes from her mistakes how to adjust, how to adapt, how to go to the drawing board, make a new play. A man can respect that, whereas a lot of these women don't even want to go to the drawing board. They just think that they're supposed to get points on the board and supposed to be victorious running that same failing play. And you know what? Hostetan, what he does. You know when, when in basketball when a coach calls trap. That means two players on one. You ain't, you're locked down. You are locked down. And like I said, it generally takes, if you ever seen somebody get trapped in basketball, it generally takes a very skilled and talented person. Oftentimes, the skilled and talented people cannot make it up out of a trap scenario in basketball. And I'm just telling you, uh, uh, a lot of women out there have that mindset that I'm going to keep running this same play I'm gonna be prideful and arrogant that it will work and it consistently fails. I'm telling you, as a as a as a woman, man, love love yourself enough, respect your enough yourself enough to say, you know what, man, I need to go back to this drawing board. I need to really map out my thought process. And the reason I'm telling you to draw it out, to write it out, is not just. You don't need to be making no plays based upon your feelings. That's the worst thing you can do as a woman. Constantine is attacking you through your feelings. Well, I just felt like he was the one and he was special. I'm telling you, every man that's selling you a dream is going to seem special. But you got to have that that, imp uh, that impenetrable defense to where uh, you, you just can't get penetrated. Hey, you know what? We're not going to um, we're not going to do this. We're going to we're going to, you know, you can court me. We can uh, get serious, but uh, I'm, I'm waiting on something serious that when it's a, a, a marriage offer, you know, and we actually are married, we can consummate that thing. And it'll it'll feel good as a woman to be able to have that kind of success that you ran a winning play and, you know, secured marriage out of it. You got the husband out of it. And, you know, I, I, wish, I wish women that, that run that winning play the best, but not... In this daytime and hour, not a lot of women are willing to go back to that drawing board. We don't hear that when we look at some of these conversations that's being had. We just see uh, a lot of triggered women trying to shape a new norm. And pretty much the standard is, well, I can go out here and have all these kids by these different men. And then one day my knight in shining armor is just supposed to come save me from all of this, uh, this drama and baggage I have in my life. Why put yourself through that as a woman when when we know women know how to friend zone men. We know this, women control access to sex. Men control access to relationship. So at the end of the day, by running that winning play, the play is, hey, I control the access to sex and I know you want it, but you control access to marriage and I want it. And you cannot fall for the sleight of hand. Don't try to run that play straight up the middle. Go straight for the goal. Well. If you say you're going to give me marriage in, in six months, then I'm going to give you sex now. No. When you give me marriage in six months, that's when I give you sex in six months. 
You see what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of women will try to instead of go run the play that they know is gonna work, they'll try to go straight up the middle. And they get they get the sleight of hand. You get met with some adjusting defense right in there. And I'm telling you, don't do that for yourself. Women control access to sex. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know how to lock it down uh, when you don't want to give a man sex. Y'all even know how to do it in marriage. You even know how to do it in relationships. To lock it down. You know what I'm saying? Lock it down for righteousness sake, though. You know? So in today's video, man, we're talking about, uh, you know, the state of modern women in single motherhood, what they can do and the importance of, there's no, there's no, man, you can have somebody that, that that's a felon, a criminal, and, and in order to make it successfully, man, they have to go back to the drawing board. Look at the way they did things. Man, the way I was doing things did not work. This is not a winning way. So they go back to the drawing board and turn their life around. Nobody's saying that, uh, you know, the state that you're in is the complete existence of your life. No, what are you gonna do? What kind of play are you gonna draw to turn that thing around? And I said it in the beginning, for some women, you know, it is simply, you know, a, a high probability, probably about 98, 99% too late that you're gonna be able to turn it around because you went so long and had so many plays that just failed to where that's, a, that's just a lot for anybody to come along your expectations are gonna have to be very low in order for you to have any kind of chance of turning that around. But for a lot of women, it's not too late. It's not too late. You got one child, man, it ain't too late to hit that drawing board. Maybe two, it ain't too late. When you start getting to three, four, five, six, and then you got multiple, ooh, man, I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? And here's another one. If you chose a no good man the first go, you need to choose the complete opposite. You know, if you chose a thug or a man that's no good, I'm telling you, that's already a, 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 a strike against you. So you definitely, you cannot go for the same thing over and over again. Choose something to the other side and make it known. Man, at one point I was interested in no good men that didn't have my best interest uh, at heart. And I didn't have my best interest at heart. But now I'm going for something that's, that's more secure, more safe. You know, something that's not gonna uh, lead to all of this stress and all of this, you see know what I'm saying? And once you do that, man, I'm telling you, a lot of these women got gotta uh, still have potential out here, but following the advice of triggered single mothers is not gonna get you anywhere. Where did they get them? They just out here still being triggered. Nobody's coming to save them. You gotta go to the drawing board to make a play to get yourself up out of this situation. Close to the yard ministry's kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.